Hi, hello, this is Phoebe. Um, so I am planning on filming the- I have a minty spoon. Um, I'm planning on filming that what I eat in a day tomorrow, but um, what I do on the weekends is make overnight oats, which you're probably thinking like that doesn't make that much sense because usually people do overnight oats to like save time, but like I actually find that eating oatmeal um, on the weekends is just better for me. I was making my overnight oats and then I realized that I should probably bring you with me because some of you asked me to like show um, like what I eat and like how I do it. So. Here we go. So, um, for the oatmeal, I used about a half a cup of quick oats and a quarter, or excuse me, not a quarter, but just like a little dash of steel cut oats. Huh, this is really funny in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Um, yeah, the steel cut oats just add a little bit of, add a little bit of chewiness. Um, and quick oats are really like soft. I don't love rolled oats because they're just like too chewy for me. And then I also, oh, you go hand. Um, I use cacao powder to give it a lot more flavor. And I added quite a lot actually. And then I use coconut sugar, um, chia seed, flax seed, some wheat germ. Wow, this is really slow. Um, some wheat germ and some rice milk, which I prefer over um, almond milk and coconut milk. So yeah. And then I didn't end up using the maple syrup just because the coconut sugar was sweet enough for me. Like the way that I love you, I wouldn't mind a little comforting from you. Why do I let you in my head? No, and I gotta go sometimes, but you always on my mind. I finished up making the overnight oats, so I ended up putting them in the fridge. And this is the next day. This is a nice clip of me waking up. Um, it's really hard to see. I went to Pet Taro and I wanted to show you guys, but it was a little dark. Even though it was like 9.30 in the morning. And I'm hopping over to my fridge and grabbing the overnight oats. And you guys know, matcha time is the most important time of the day for me. I can't function without having a cup of matcha in the morning. Uh, shout out to Alex for giving me this matcha kit for my birthday. It has a nice little whisk and a little scooper and it comes with the bowl. And my mom bought the ceremonial matcha for me. And I put in, when I'm using the bowl, I put in about a teaspoon and a half of the matcha powder. And I fill it pretty much to the top. Hey, good morning. So, I just woke up, which is why I look like this. And I'm wearing my Hello Kitty sweater. Um, so what I'm eating for breakfast today is the overnight oats that you just saw me make. Um, I made it last night. And then I'm going to pair it with, um, persimmon. Um, I forgot the name for a second. And then I have my, you guessed it, matcha. Um, so I wanted to talk about, um, coconut sugar really quick. Um, because, so I used to have a huge sweet tooth and I still kind of do. Um, I like eating sweet things, but I found that I can't tolerate them as well as I used to. So like whenever I have ice cream or something or something really sweet, um, it just like doesn't work with my palate anymore and I feel really gross after eating it, which is why I don't eat that much sugar anymore. Um, and I try to stick to like darker chocolate and stuff because like it makes my tummy feel better. 
but <clears throat> uh, coconut sugar, the cool thing about coconut sugar is that um, they sell it unrefined. So unlike white sugar, which is refined, it hasn't been all through all this processing. So it's just like better sugar for you and it doesn't like completely mess with your blood sugar levels. And also, um, yeah, it gives you energy without giving you that like peak and crash, which I really like. Um, yeah. And most of the things that I add, add into the oatmeal are for the minerals, vitamins, and protein. Um, and then obviously <clears throat> the oats are for fiber and protein. Um, and then for the persimmon, this is the fuyu persimmon. It's not the other kind, because the other kind is like soft when you like when it's ripe. These ones are hard. These are the ones I've been eating since I was little. But fun fact, um, I didn't start eating them again until literally last night. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I had to say about that. So I'm gonna eat now. Um, you don't have to watch me eat because I hate chewing sounds, but yeah. It's not that easy with you here, but I know I want you to stay. See, this could be us in a few years, but just at me, you like to play. It's like every day I'm kicking. Hi, so it's about 11.30 right now. Um, I finished my meal around like 15 minutes ago. So I ate for like about um, an hour and 15 minutes, which is actually like pretty normal for me. I eat pretty slow because of my esophagus thing. Um, yeah, so um, that's why I like the weekend, so I can just like chill and eat. Cause like with school, I'm always in a rush. Um, I just went downstairs. I've been watching like videos and stuff like while eating breakfast. Um, I went downstairs and made myself a glass of green tea. Oh, a cup of green tea. Um, yeah. And I'm kind of cheap. So what I, what I do is reuse this tea bag like two or three times. Um, yeah. And I have a thing with water. I don't really like drinking like plain water during the winter time just because I get like really cold. Um, I obviously like you guys see me carrying around my hydro around school um, and I like I drink water then but like on the weekends I tend to just drink tea because it's readily available for me. Um, yeah so that's how I stay hydrated. Um, I drink a lot of tea and this is decaf green tea because my mom thought that Maybe caffeine wasn't the greatest greatest idea for me, which I kind of agree with. So this is the Trader Joe's decaffeinated green tea. Yeah. And I finished my matcha um like halfway through my breakfast. So yeah, that's a little update for what's going on. Um I'm still not planning on getting dressed, but I'm gonna like start homework in the afternoon. So yeah. Um you'll see me again at lunch. I wouldn't mind a little comforting from you. Why do I let you in my head? No. And I gotta go sometimes, but you're always on my mind. You're not helping me, babe. You're not helping me, babe. But I fall. So I was getting a little hungry, so I decided to make some dinner. And my parents had some leftover porridge from their breakfast. Um, and I decided to... Porridge is like pretty plain. So I decided to cut up some vegetables. I included some uh, mini baby peppers and some kale. I think I had three stalks of kale and I destemmed them as you will see later. Um, and I had seaweed salad, which I really love. Um, yeah, there it is. And I also put some lettuce on the plate, which you will also see later. Yeah, that was my dinner prep. But just at me, you like to play. It's like every day I'm kicking rocks. I could fly away, but you got me at a complete stop. How do you manage to keep me going? But somehow you keep me from going. See, you distract me. 
but I'm distracted without you. I don't know how to focus, baby, teach me how to. Cause I'm standing still again. But if you love me just like the way that I love you, I wouldn't mind a little comforting from you. Why do I let you in my head? And I gotta go sometimes, but you're always on my mind. You're not open me, you're not open me, you're not open me. Just thinking of you So pour me a cup I need to wake up I need me some love Now give it to me Cause everywhere you go I'll follow you This ended up being a pretty big plate of vegetables Um, so I ate half of it Um, for my first serving of this porridge and then I ate up the rest of the bell peppers and most of the spinach for the second serving that I had. And here I'm just scooping the porridge into the bowl. Um, and then I saved the rest of the vegetables for dinner. So this is the final product of dinner, and there is some nutritional yeast that I decided to sprinkle over my plate of veggies and porridge. Um, nutritional yeast is really important because it has B12, which vegans and vegetarians tend to not be able to get naturally. Just mixing it up. Hi, hello. <coughs> um, right now it is 1.30ish. Um, and I made my lunch, as you saw in the clip before. Um, update on hydration. This is my second cup of this green tea. So water is going a little slow today because I've been eating a lot. Um, this is a lot more food that I'm used to. But, like, it's the weekend and it's, like, time to treat myself. Um, I, so, this morning, I showed you my mom and dad's breakfast, hopefully. But, um... My mom made this, like, it's not really revolutionary, but, like, Thai people sometimes tend to have porridge in the morning, rice porridge. Um, and she had some leftover, like, porridge, and it was just rice and water. So I heated some of that up and, like, added some water so that it would be more porridgey. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat this bowl and maybe go for seconds, but, yeah, I'll let you know. Hi, so it's 2.25 right now, and I just went back to get seconds, and I ended up finishing the pot of rice, so that's good. Just thinking of you So pour me a cup I need to wake up I need me some love Now give it to me Cause everywhere you go I'll follow you So I definitely said in my previous recording That I made dinner But that was a lie This is dinner And this is my last snack of the night Some soy milk 